Hello there. I'm Sunny Bear, and today I'm gonna. Sh an axe. I'm gonna show you guys how to build with the new building system in Glory Evictus. Welcome to the channel. Please hit like. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to load up the wagon cart and how to build. We're currently in Safa. How you get this wagon is you locate this barrack right here or any barrack that's in whichever location you're at, right? Come to the barrack and you'll see this person called the siege engineer. Talk to him and click on the transport wagon. This is the new thing that the devs added. So just like a siege engine, you just drop it anywhere that's close to him. Nice. Now, handling this may be a little finicky, but uh, what I suggest you guys do, press escape, hit settings, go to key bindings, and come down here to where it says toggle mouse mode. I set it to N because my I'm a lefty, so all these key bindings are messed up. But anyways, you hold that key and it will bring up the mouse look or the mouse mode, right? What I do is I just go like that. My character will just snap to it. Once I have my cart, I bring it to the bastion here. Uh, usually it's already loaded. You can tell by the resources that are out here, but even if it's empty, there will still be resources, but it'll say like you need to replenish it or whatever. So what you do is you walk inside, make sure you close the door behind you. Come to the architects table here. So when you interact with it, it will zoom the camera all the way out. You can zoom in and out. You can use your movement key, you can rotate with Q and E. What you're looking for are these green ones. You can click on it. You can also move this around too. Like say you want to upgrade all of these and they're all green. You can relocate the windows and just click, 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 click. Because you got to confirm it once you click the this one right here. What I also like to do is set it to where it looks the same as my mini map so I know what's going on or like the locations of it. And then I go to each of the ones that I've already selected for upgrade and then I count how many I need. That way I can load up my cart accordingly. If you can't take any resources from the workbench that's right here, oh, you can see our little cart right there too. Come to the Bastion tab up here. <laughs> 69. So we're going to focus right here, the building resources. So as long as you have anything that's above zero, you can take resources out. If there aren't any and you need to replenish it, these are all the building resources that you can put in. We got clay, kneaded clay, limestone, quick lime, lime mortar, long nails, gneiss, and granite. With each color, it denotes its tier. So this is what? This is tier one, if we're starting tier one, and then tier two and tier three, and then the purple is tier four. The higher the tier, the more resources it provides for the, the bastion. This is going to deplete. It incentivizes people to keep refilling it over time. It also raises morale and morale raises the amount of uh, troops that come out to defend, I guess. Press escape to get out. Oh, our wagon's gone. Okay, not to worry. So the wagon disappears if you take too long, like five minutes. I guess I took longer than five minutes. Huh. These are free, by the way, so don't feel bad if they disappear on you. There's two ways that you can do this. You can just, you know, pick it up and put it down normally. But the game is weird because when you try to go 180, it does like a 90 instead see i try to go around it does a 90. now what i advise you guys do is settings key mapping go down to toggle mouse mode right and here's what you want to do you want to hold it right and be near both of these things i needed two logs so i just mouse over the log press the use button your e or in this case my space bar and just mouse right over easy i don't have to worry about turning my body i can just go to where i am i can look straight down too and just boom 
I think I'm close enough. I can drop it off. Oh, no. Just a little step. See, if I position this right, you don't even have to move. You can just be where you are. And just use the free mouse one. See, that's simple. You can put things back as long as there's slots for it. You can interact with it from anywhere that you can use. And the camera will adjust itself to the mast of this. Or it, like this, this pulling part where the horses will go. Now, when you use a door, when you open doors, you will let go of the cart. What I like to do is use the free mouse button and go back to the middle part here, right here. Now I can keep going. I still have to turn the camera because I need to close the door. So what I do is go to settings. I use this button, the free camera. What free camera does is when you hold it and then you look anywhere, and then you let go of the, the free camera button. It snaps back to where I was originally. So I can do hold free camera, turn around, and then close the door, snap it back. Go forward, open the door, free mouse button, uh, use or uh, hold on to this part. And there you go. That way you don't need to look around and be finicky. And if you keep practicing, you'll just be very fluid and make a lot of money upgrading buildings. There's a lot of buildings that need upgrading, by the way. Like, there aren't a lot of builders playing in Gloria Victus. They just input the resource and call it a day. Alright, so let's use the same method. Get the log. Drop it down. Grab the log. And then drop it in. And then this scaffold will come up when you completed the ingredients on this wooden pallet, right? This is the final step. All you need to do is just play the little mini game. Or don't. Just enjoy the little hammering. Rejoice on your on your building abilities. Ta-da! Okay, let's go to the other ones. Oh wait, we need to go back there. Upgrade that wooden wall. It just needs a stone. Drop it off. And here's the scaffold. We just need to hammer it away. Ta-da! Upgrade. We get XP and we also get coin. Once we finish a construction, we always get this amount or whatever like bonuses you have on top. And we also get one silver and one iron every time we complete a construction. Not bad. Good little way to make money, you know. Especially if you fast traveled a lot, you use a lot of coin, you use a lot of silver. So this is one way to get your money up. Plus, you might even get gold out of it if you do it long enough. It's a good idea to set your dailies for upgrading buildings. That way you'll always get money like on top of the money you're already getting and you will up this bar for daily challenges complete. Open these chests for rewards and if you're in a guild you also get guild activity which basically shows that you're participating and helping the guild you know. Okay we don't need to stop by the resource because we have these other ones to upgrade. Now you can see my characters just flopping around in the back. It doesn't really matter for me because what matters is the cart being able to get in and out. My character, they'll snap back to where they're supposed to be. Okay, let's turn this thing around. Now I can even do it on the go too, the little mouse thing if you're fast enough. Go at the speed of your mouse instead of the speed of your character. Boom, from wood to stone, your guild rules a new thief. Oh, I rule Safa Outpost. Oh, perfect. That's another reason why you should start upgrading and doing stuff. My guild owns the fiefdom now because I've been contributing my time and resources here. So thief, you go to map, you can see who controls it and the ruler. If you're the ruler, you get 20% thief points and fee points are produced by like doing things for the outposts doing quests that are out here and doing what i'm doing which is constructing and building 
fortifying. And there you go. Now everything's all stoned. So I'm just going to leave the cart there since it doesn't have any resources. Within 5 minutes it will disappear. It will say the the siege chassis is damaged and over time it will diminish from just wear and tear. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful in showing you the ways of constructions and building in Gloria Victus. My name is Sunny Bear and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Oh, there's my axe again. Peace. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.